we've received reports that the orcs are regrouping. Agreed. The Horde is on the move. This is absurd. My nation will not stand by and watch as the Horde masses on our very doorstep. The Orcs are not our primary concern here. How many times must I repeat myself? King Terence, you must heed my warning. This plague that has gripped the Northlands could have dire ramifications. Plague? You wizards are just being paranoid. Let's keep all this in perspective. Even if this plague does pose a threat to us, what are you proposing that we do? It is... As I have said, the Kirin Torf are already prepared to place the villages under strict quarantine. I will not institute quarantine without proof of your claims, Ambassador. The people of Lordaeron have suffered enough without becoming prisoners in their own land. of darkness have come again, and the whole world is poised upon the brink of war. Enough of this. Guards, remove this land. Hear me. The only hope for your people is to travel west, to the forgotten lands of Kalendra. Old Ambassador, I don't know who you are or what you believe, but this is not the time for rambling prophets. Our lands are beset by conflict, but it shall be we who decide how best to protect our people, not you. Now, be gone! I failed humanity once before, and I will not do so again. If you cannot take up this cup, then I shall find another who will. has been given. Their fate is now their own. Welcome, Prince Arthas. The men and I are honored by your presence. Can the formalities, Uther. I'm not king yet. It's good to see you. You too, lad. I'm pleased that King Terran has sent you to help me. Father still hopes your patience and experience might rub off on me. Well, it is a father's right to dream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's where we stand. Our scouts have confirmed that there is an orc encampment hidden somewhere over the next ridge. As I suspected. It gets worse. They're preparing to attack the nearby village of Strongbrad. As far as we know, the village is completely defenseless. I need to move against the Orcs' base immediately. Can you handle Strongbrad's defense on your own? Of course, Uther. Don't worry about me. Good. Meet me at the Orc camp once you've saved the village. Be careful, Arthas. Please, you're my only hope. A group of gnolls kidnapped my little... <laughs> oh, oh, thanks so much. Bandits are stealing our belongings. <laughs> we'll take their coin just like everyone else. Those bandits stole my ledger. Without it, I will lose my entire farm. Please, retrieve it from their camp. It would mean so much for helping you. Certainly. Bless you, Prince Arthas. 
But what about the others who were taken away? Don't worry, son. We'll find them and bring them home safe. Prince Arthas, Lord Uther needs you at the Orc encampment immediately. Never a dull moment. Let's get moving. Ah, good timing, lad. I sent two of my best knights into parley with the Orc leader. They should be returning shortly. These orcs will never surrender. Then let's get in there and destroy the beasts. Remember, Argus, we are paladins. Vengeance cannot be a part of what we must do. If we allow our passions to turn to bloodlust, then we will become as vile as the orcs. Yes, Uther. <laughs> now, if you're feeling up to it, I want you to lead the attack. Me? Well, of course. Paladin fool! The warlocks of the Black Rock Clan have spoken. Soon, demons will rain from the sky, and this wretched world will burn. Yes, I've heard this rhetoric before. You orcs will never learn. It was only a mirror image. Damn it, what are these curs up to? The hour of doom approaches. Let this paltry sacrifice appease our demon masters. You sick bastards. You'll never get away with this. Uh. Slay the orcs. Slay them all! Certainly. I'm here to help. You've done well, lad. This was a sound victory. I don't know, Uther. The orcs were sacrificing townsfolk. I think they were trying to summon demons. Have faith, lad. These orcs are trying to hold on to dying traditions. We defeated their demons a long time ago. Let's head for home. It's been a long day. must be wiser than the king. The end is near! I told you before, I'm not interested in this nonsense. Then I've wasted my time here. You can show yourself now, Jaina. He's gone. I'm sorry for eavesdropping, Master, but... <laughs> it's your inquisitive nature that I've come to rely on, child. That crazed fool's convinced that the world is about to end. I've heard the rumors of the plague spreading throughout the Northlands. Do you truly believe that the plague is magical in nature? It's a strong possibility. That's why I need you to travel there and investigate the matter. I've arranged for a special envoy to assist you. Yes, Master. I'll do my best. I know you will, child. Farewell. 